Hey guys, this is Joanna and Sean for The Verge, and we are here with the Windows 8 development tablet at Build. I wanted to give you guys a quick look here at uh, some new parts of the operating system. So what you're looking at here is the password unlock screen, and so there's a picture password, and so as you can see, you can draw three gestures on it and you can customize that. Obviously it didn't come with the uh, Verge logo, though that would be pretty cool. So this is the start screen. Uh, basically it's going to look familiar to anyone who's used Windows Phone 7, uh, obviously using the Metro UI and all these live tiles. So all these are pulling in uh, here. You've got the stock one, this is a Twitter one, this is weather, um, and actually every app that you have on your uh, PC or on your tablet shows up here as a tile and uh, you'll be able to eventually organize them but I'll show you right now how you can if I can actually move this around so that's one feature you can pull it down and it will show you you can make it smaller and you can actually unpin and uninstall that way as well uh, we have not figured out how to actually back out of that so just to show you uh, how to move this again so you can it's supposed to be able to bring it up but it's they're really sticky and uh, do not like to separate from their friends uh, but you can move it that way you can also move it up and then use another finger to pan which is sort of cool uh, but yeah like I'm saying they really like to uh, stick together but eventually you'll actually be able to zoom out and you'll be able to organize them by different categories, though that's not working right now. Uh, so other things to sort of show you is uh, jumping back to the desktop. And obviously, they have not cut out the regular Windows uh, 7 desktop, so obviously looks a lot like Windows 7 here. Uh, and you can just get back here where you'd usually find the Start menu. Uh, replaces you, the Start menu, basically. Yeah, totally replaces the Start menu. and. Uh, it's, the desktop is an app, as we've heard many times today from uh, some executives at Microsoft. Um, so in terms of pulling other apps in, and so they're focusing a lot on full screen apps, and just to show you there, if I can pull it in right, you can cycle through your apps like this. So just to show you on the sides, you've got on this side you can pull in apps. On this side, you've got to be in another app there. On this side, you can pull in a set of charms. Um, but one of the neat things you can do on the left side is actually snap apps into place. So up here, you've got the desktop, which doesn't work very well in the smaller app side. But you can have the full screen desktop here. Pull open the Explorer here, and you can see they've added the ribbon UI as they had, uh, had been rumored. And you can have another app here on the side. And if I want to pull in another app here, I can snap that. So uh, that works pretty well, and I really like the ability to resize. I think that's pretty cool. Obviously, that's not going to be ideal for reading a website, but um, you can see that as you pull in, you should be able to pull in another app and snap it there. Uh, so that works really well. It's one of the things that they seem to have um, worked pretty hard on. It seems really stable at this point. And then just getting back to the Start menu, you can always get back that way. You can use the button, the physical hardware button here on this uh, tablet. Now I'll show off uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer 10 and a couple of the other gestures available here. If I jump in, you can see we've still got our uh, This Is My Next website and the desktop snapped here. If I shove that out of the way, I can show you the pull-down gesture, which is basically like the right-click on uh, other versions of Windows. And actually, right-click does the same thing. Pulls up contextual menu where you can refresh the page, enter in new URLs, sort through your tabs, pin websites, and I can actually... Uh, swap between the tabs here and bring up a brand new one and show off the software keyboard. Uh, you'll probably be familiar with uh, software keyboard if you've seen Windows Phone 7 before. It's as nice and responsive as those were, but you can also switch out of here to a split thumb keyboard if you've got your thumbs on either side of the device. And I'll go here and enter in uh, theverge.com, which is uh, auto uh, detected right here. It's a website we think you should be paying attention to this fall. It comes up right away. And if you actually pull up from the right into the center of the screen, you bring up the five charms. Um, these are things that the Windows team told us people would want to access frequently, like your connection status and volume and brightness, and you can actually uh, change those on the fly. Turn off the device if you want. And uh, the other couple of uh, tap out of there. Other couple of charms up here on top that you'll want to know about are search and share. If you tap search, you get a uh, search specific for unit for Internet Explorer right here. But if you're on the home screen, it's actually a universal search of sorts. Um, you can type in a query 
of any kind, and it'll start by looking for apps. Let's, uh, let's go back to Internet Explorer, find that automatically, but you can flip through settings or files or even look for uh, tweets or pictures related to Internet Explorer if web browsers are what you're looking for. Um, if you want, if you're at a website that you like, or uh, if you've got a screenshot uh, of something particularly interesting that you want to share with others, like TheVerge.com, you can go to the Share Charm, and it uh, should, when I swipe in from the bezel appropriately, allow you to tweet that directly, send it to Facebook, or any other app that has a contract here. So if I go here, I can send it to Facebook, and uh, give a quick description, um, pull in my hardware keyboard if I like, and, which is off screen right now, and say, check this out. Share that in Facebook, and that will go to the link to Verge.com because uh, it's got a few lines of code that let it know that uh, you can share with it. There's also a devices charm right here. You can send directly to other devices or uh, play to uh, probably DLNA compatible devices or even print out on a printer if you've got uh, something like that uh, nearby. And uh, that's what charms are like.